What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about the Frost Comp and with the addition of Sakafua on how that will really change up the Frost element because I believe it's still the current strongest element excluding when you factor in Mega Whales um, and people that can get to like A3, A6, Cobalt plus Ruby kind of Flame Comp meta. But regardless, we're going to talk about the repercussions of Sakafua and Lin coming to the game. Let's get into it. All right, so we have a few stages to talk about here when we're talking about the future of the Frost Comp. First off, we have to start off with the current iteration of the Frost Comp and what that kind of looks like. Now, for those of you that were interested in summoning for Freak, I'm gonna use that as an example. And keep in mind that when I'm judging these characters, I'm usually basing it off of A0, A1 type of characters, except for the standard banners, because the standard banners, you can actually accumulate way more copies of them. But with the limited banners, if you're a whale, just whale, right? <laughs> That's kind of my perspective. Um, maybe you're whaling on specific characters, and in that case, um, I guess it's whatever you want, right? But in terms of A0, A1 is kind of what I'm judging here. And the current Frost iteration is generally speaking, most people are gonna be running Meryl with Frigg and then with Subasa. This is gonna be an amazing, amazing team comp. And the main reason for that uh, is that Meryl's going to do an insane amount of shatter. She is arguably the best shatter in the game. Uh, probably no contest when you're com comboing it with uh, Balmung Frigg's weapon here and using the Fimble Winter skill. But basically the idea with this comp is you're going to use Meryl kind of as your main DPS uh, for the most part and kind of spin around. And you're going to use Frigg, kind of swap into her. Maybe you're going to spam some dodges out. But using her as a Fimble Winter bot kind of and using that skill comboing with the Elemental Resonance to give all your Frost weapons extra 15% attack and then 25% extra shatter. And then using Subasa with a support DPS kind of getting those damage stacks with your dodge attacks and things like that. Now, this is generally just going to be an amazing, amazing comp. It's going to have so much shatter capabilities and actually so much damage, uh, as well as decent range as well with uh, Subasa. And if you want to go ahead and use Frigg kind of as a main DPS, sort of in some scenarios, she's very, very difficult to actually take damage with because, well, you're dodging constantly in the Fimble Winter if you want to use it that way. Um, so there's a lot of different variations you can pull on this. Of course, you're going to want to look for... Um, your, your A1 here on Frigg is actually going to boost up uh, your damage quite a bit. And on top of that, your Subasa and Meryl are easily able to get A5, A6. On my weapons here, I have like some A3s, A4s, and I haven't really purchased any copies of them. Uh, I think it's very, very reasonable to expect, you know, A3s, A4s on your weapon. And if you happen to be lucky, getting the A5 or A6 can be absolutely insane, especially for Meryl. Her A5 is actually super underrated, in my opinion. It's going to increase your damage and shatter by 50% when you have your shield active, which is basically when you swap to Meryl, which guess what? You're going to be swapping so often because you want to get keep that Fimble Winter skill up. You want to keep the super Basa charges active. So you're going to be swapping quite often, which means your ice shield is going to be active. And if you don't take damage, well, boom, 50% extra damage, absurd extra damage. So super, super powerful combo already, guys. I think this is very, very strong. And once again, if you compare it to the other comps available right now, I believe it's really no contest. If you're comparing A1, A0 uh, limited banner, I think Nemesis and Volt is just going to be more of a support in general for the team. And you're going to have decent Volt, but you kind of have to pair it with King uh, or another Shatter character so that you can actually get the Shatter in your comp. Uh, your Flame comp is going to be really, really amazing if you Whale because you'll have the support DPS with Cobalt. Otherwise, your A1, A0 Ruby is going to be kind of really solid, no, no doubt, but it, I don't think it really keeps up with the Frost comp. And then, of course, Physical, I think, uh, is a step down as well. But regardless, we're here to talk about Sakafua and Lin and how they're going to change and which one you might want to summon for. So, Upcoming, we have Sakafua first up, um, and just to really give you a quick example here, I have her pulled up on the Tower Fantasy Info. Keep in mind that this is the Chinese uh, information. It's slightly nerfed in terms of skill damage on the global beta version. Who knows if it'll change again? But the basic thing I want to go over here is really we're going to be looking at A0 or A1. A1 is going to give you an additional uh, basically resetting of skills every single time you use five skills, which if you're using her in combination with Frigg and Subasa, is an insane A1. Do not underestimate this A1. This is going to give you extra uptime for Fimblewinter um, and Subasa skill, but more importantly, 
frig skill, which is insane. Um, and then you're going to have, of course, just amazing damage capabilities uh, as a main DPS. Her shatter is extremely high base shatter, and her charge is higher than Meryl's, which makes it a very, very interesting replacement for Meryl. And I think that's where Sakafua fits in the best, comboing with Frigg and with Subasa as, again, with those sub-DPS units. Um, I think she really, really fits well. And you kind of want a DPS resonance on her, so you do want to pair two DPS together uh, with her because, well, this character is going to really, really shine when you have that DPS resonance because it turns her into much more focused on DPS because her skills change depending on if you have tank, or DPS resonance. Um, so super, super important that you really, really make sure that you don't use a Fortitude resonance. So you don't really want to combo Meryl and Sakafua together. And this is something that I kind of overlooked initially, but this is something that you really don't want to do comboing together. Now, if you don't have Frigg, um, which is a very, very con uh, obvious consideration because, well, I don't have Frigg. A lot of you don't have Frigg. If you don't have Frigg, Subasa is an easy second option, you know, comboing Sakafu with Subasa, and then using a, another DPS character, preferably uh, just one that has high stats or something that can give you an extra value kind of in the offhand slot. So maybe someone that can provide some support or some extra passive buffs. If you happen to have Claudia, for example, um, her A1 is going to go ahead and increase your damage. That's a nice one to use. Um, anything like that, that's going to give you some extra passive damage in that slot that's a DPS resident is going to be very, very solid. So anything really. So comboing Sakafuo with Subasa, I think is very, very worthwhile and will give you a lot of results. Now the question comes in, if you're a Frost user and you really want a heavy focus on Frost, or if you're someone like me, free to play player, that's kind of trying to branch out and get all the elemental resonance for at least one of each element. If you go to Sok if you go for Sakafuo, how is Lin going to shape up? Is Lin that powerful? And I believe that Lin is extremely, extremely powerful. We don't know quite yet how she's going to shape up on the global version. This is very, very, um, you know, based on the Chinese server. But I imagine her skills are going to do the same. It's just that her, basically her numbers are going to be different. But the main thing that you're going to want to focus on uh, with Lin here with her skill, obviously she's just amazing, you know, kind of that support DPS or just DPS in general. Uh, her A1 is going to be amazing. Just constantly dishing out of additional damage. Now, her unique Frost Resonance, or Frost, uh, you know, I guess Frost Resonance is a good way to put it, is that she's going to increase the damage of Frost damage by 22% uh, when they enter a state of Frostbite, which, you know, she basically is, when enemies are in the realm, she's going to receive Frost damage 10 times, and they enter a state of Frostbite, which gives them 22% extra Frost damage, which is 15 seconds long. This combos with Fimblewinter so, so well, so well. Um, this is just absolutely massive. And to be honest, if we're going back to the elemental residence here, I think that really the optimal frost comp is going to look something like Frigg, Sakafua, plus Lin. Or, or Meryl, uh, Lin, and Frigg. I think that Frigg and Lin are just so, so powerful in upping your damage uh, overall. And the question is, do you want Sakafua or do you want Meryl? Now, I actually don't know how powerful uh, Meryl is going to be compared to Sakafua. I have not done the calculations quite yet. And it's important for me, I think that if you're going to compare them all, I feel like you have to compare A1 Sakafua to A5 Meryl because, well, a5 Meryl is a standard banner character, and so if you've been focusing on her for an elemental, ice elemental comp, then you should have it. 50% damage is not to be overlooked, and I think that a lot of people do. I don't even know if Sakafu, even with the DPS resonance, and even with the fact that Meryl doesn't really get any bonuses towards damage besides her 1 and A5, I think that Meryl can actually out DPS Sakafu in terms of being that uh, maybe potentially main DPS if you happen to have her at a5 if you're good enough to keep the shield up those are two caveats of course so super super interesting i'm gonna have to do some calculations when sakafu comes out but i do think that with lin and with sakafu not only are you going to get extra options and i do think that sakafu can fit a role that meryl doesn't but they're just going to be a step above all the other ones because i think that they all fit in so nicely um really 
having someone like Sakafu or Merrill as that kind of mean DPS or just someone that you're going to be wanting out on the field so often and then having so much support DPS with Frigg, with Subasa, with Lin potentially, you're going to just get so much extra DPS and I think that Frost comp overall is just situated so so well in the game because of how much support DPS they have in their standard banner uh, in terms of Subasa, and then also in Frigg which is crazy, crazy to see. Again, if you compare this to like A1, A0 support DPSs across the board, I mean, look at, you know, Nemesis, right? She's going to have those electrodes, which is going to do some more damage, but her A1 doesn't increase your damage overall in terms of, you know, getting her extra damage. So she has a decent amount of support DPS, but Walt doesn't really have any support DPS until you get to A3. Um, and then, you know, you have like maybe Huma, but, you know, Huma doesn't really get a crazy amount uh, of support DPS either because, well, this only affects her when you swap to a different weapon, it kind of immediately uh, reduces or cancels the effect. All the other weapons don't really have the same amount of support DPS that uh, Frost has, which makes it such a cohesive and amazing comp. And I think it'll only get better for Sakafua and for Lin to come out. However, at the end of the video, to give you kind of a wrap up here on what I think the future of the Frost comp holds, I think that if you have Frigg, and you have Meryl, which you probably should have Meryl if you already have Frigg, you might want to skip Sakafua and just go for Lin. But if you don't have Frigg, you're going to want to pick up Sakafua and Lin. Or if you're like me and you're kind of in that position where you're like, I want all elements, I think that overall I'm going to be going for Sakafua and then potentially Lin in the future if I am able to accrue enough resources. But I would like to play with a Frost comp and I really enjoy the way Sakafua functions. And I think that it's going to be very, very viable. Lin will definitely boost up my Volt and Flame teams, no doubt. But it will still leave me with two elements. And I believe that having that third element is overall just better for me in the long run. So that's kind of where I'm at. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, are you going for Sakafua? Are you going for Lin? I'm super excited for both of them, to be honest. Uh, I'm a little bit more excited for Sakafua, but just because I think that her moveset is a little bit more fun. Uh, just from the little bits that I've used of her, I thought so she's incredibly fun. And that's why I wanted to go for her. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel. Hopefully I'll be able to get those numbers out for you soon so I can test them all and do the similar thing that I did with Ruby and Cobalt. And I'll see you then.